Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the readable question insert, delete, get random 01. Okay, so in this question, um, init and uh, insert and uh, get random functions are not difficult. So let me implement uh, three functions first. And uh, so remove function is a little bit tricky, so I'll explain later. So first of all, let's implement uh, init. So init should be self.values. And this is array and self dot values index equal this is a hash map. So let me explain why we use array for values. So this values will keep inserted uh, value. And uh, we have get random, right? And uh, description said uh, get random return a random element from current set of elements. Each element must have the same probability of being returned. So that means I think uh, we should use uh, like a random function and then get a number. So that number should be index number, right? So that's why um, uh, we use uh, array because uh, uh, array has index number, right? And uh, like a hash map or a set uh, don't have an index number, right? So that's why uh, we use uh, array. And uh, values index is like key should be value and uh, value is index number the reason why we have a value and a index pair with hash map is that so difficulty of this question is that we must implement the functions of class with o1 time complexity so it, when we find the uh, target number in values, so values is array, right? So in the case, um, time complexity should be O n, right? So that's why uh, we need to keep a value and the index pair with hash map. So when we find the target number, so we can get index number with O one. And if we have index number, we can access uh, target number in array uh, with O one, right? So that's why we have um, value and index pair with hash map. Okay, so let's implement a get random. And uh, as I told you, um, so we use a, a random function and uh, index equal and uh, random dot random int and uh, range should be zero to length of self dot values and uh, minus one, right? And then return uh, self dot values and uh, index number. Yeah, so this is O1. And uh, next, so let's implement the uh, insert. And the uh, description said insert item var into set if not present. Return true if the item was not present, false otherwise. So that means if var in self dot Values index. In the case, uh, we should return false. So the reason why we use a values index is that so we have to keep O1 time complexity. So that's why we use a value index in the, uh, instead of um, values. So if not the case, um, self dot values index and the key is var equal. So we put the last index. Um, so length of self dot values, right? And then, so after that, append the current value to the last so that we can keep all one time. So self dot values dot append and uh, current value. So um, we will um, we will append the current value to the last of array. So that's why uh, we also uh, put the last index into like a current value. And then after that, just return um, true. So this is a insert function. And uh, let me explain um, remove function. This is a little bit tricky. Okay, so let me explain with this example. So first operation is initialization and we initialize values and the uh, values index. And uh, next um, we find the insert operation and uh, let's insert zero. So zero is um, at index zero, right? So value index should be um, so zero. So key is zero. So this is a value. And uh, 
value of hash map is、uh, index number zero. And then move next. So insert again. So insert one at index one. So value index should be value is one and、uh, index is one. And then、uh, move next. And、uh, now we find、uh, a remove operation. So remove zero. So problem is、um, if we remove zero from array, so values. So we don't need、uh, this data, right? And、uh, look at the so index for one value. Now, so before we remove zero, so one is at index one, right? But after we remove the zero, so、uh, index number of、uh, one value is zero, right? But、uh, we have data like、uh, one value is index one. So that's why、uh, we have to update this one to zero, right? So this is a tricky point. Okay, so how can we avoid that? So、um, we have to do some operations. So, first of all,、uh, so now target number is zero. We are trying to remove zero, right? So, that's why before we remove zero,、uh, we should keep index number of zero. So, that is zero, right? So, that's why index is now zero. And then next,、um, we use the last value of、uh, values. So, that is one. And then, so update values index. And the key is one and the value is zero. So key is one, so this one, and the value is zero. So the reason why we、uh, use the last value is that so、uh, we have to keep like an O1 operation. So, so that's why we cannot find、uh, such、uh, array, right? That is ON. So that's why、uh, we use the last value, so which is O1. And then after that, So, first of all,、uh, delete index number for zero. So, that means this one. So, now we remove index number for zero value from values index. So, that's why we have to remove this zero also, right? So, how can we do that? And、uh, simply update index zero with our last value. And、uh, we can use this index number because uh, before we uh, delete uh, index number, we keep.、Uh, Index target index number. So that's why、um, if we use this index number, we can update index zero with last value, that, that is one. And then、uh, simply at last, so we just pop the、um, last value. So this is a one. And then now, so one is successfully moved from index one to index zero and、uh, totally、uh, match with、uh, index number. Right, one zero. So a little bit tricky, right? So let's move on. And then now we find the two and the operation is insert. So in that case, we just append from the last. So that's why these two should be、uh, index one. So now two is index one. And then move next. Again, we have to remove one. So, actually, we do the same thing, but before we remove index information, we should keep so this index zero, and now we have index zero, right? And then after that, update、uh, values index with last value, and、uh, index is zero. So, value is key, right? So, that's why we should update to one. So, this data will be to zero. And then after that, so delete、um, index information for value one. So this one, we remove one zero. So now、uh, we remove、uh, index information. So we have to remove this one, right? And、uh, we do the same thing. So update index zero with last value, and、uh, we can use this index zero. So that's why index zero will be two. And then at last, we just pop、um, two from the last. So that、uh, our, so number two、uh, successfully、uh, moved to、uh, index zero from index one. And、uh, 
we have index information like to zero. So totally match, right? And then move next. So this is a, a get random, and uh, we use a, a random function. And uh, if uh, that function uh, return like a one, uh, zero, so we will return just two, right? And uh, let me uh, make sure my logic works with more numbers. So let me put the numbers quickly. So three, four, five. And uh, three is index one, and uh, four is index two, and five is index three. And uh, now uh, we try to remove three, right? So this one. And now we have two, three, four, five. And uh, first of all, um, before we remove index information, so we keep target index number. So that is one, right? So now index is one. And then after that, um, use last number. So that is five. And uh, update uh, values index with last value and uh, index number one. So five, so we have five, right? And uh, update this value, three value with one. So one. And then after that, um, delete um, index information. So now we are focused on three, right? So this one. And then after that, um, update um, index one with last value because uh, values index is now like a five is index one. So that's why um, we update this position with last value and index one. So now three is five, right? And then after that, all we have to do is just pop last value um, because we have two five. So we don't need the last one, right? So just pop five from uh, values. So that now uh, we successfully move five from index three to one. So now um, values are two, five, four, and the two is index zero, and the five is index one, and the four is index two. Looks good. The reason why we do the complicated algorithm is that uh, we have to keep O one time. So that's why we use hash map. So that is O one, right? And uh, pop last value uh, from uh, array, so that is 01, right? And uh, pointing the target number with index number, so that is 01, right? So every operation is 01, that's why we can keep one time. Yeah, so let's uh, implement the remove function. Okay, so let's implement the remove function. So if var not in self dot values index, in that case, we can immediately return false. If not the case, um, before we remove uh, index information, uh, we should get target index number. So index equal self dot values index, and the key should be var. And uh, after that, first of all, um, self dot values index, and uh, key is uh, last value of array. So self dot values and uh, minus one equal index, and then after that delete um, target um, index information. So self dot values index and the key should be var. After that, um, update values. So self values and the key should be index number and the data should be last value of array. So self dot values minus one. And then, so now we have uh, like a duplicate number. So that's why we pop the last value from array. So self dot values dot pop. And then after that, just return true. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be uh, 01. That is a requirement. And the space complexity is on because we use the values, I mean array and the hash map. So where n is the number of data in array and the hash map. Before we end the video, um, please support me with your actions such as comment and hitting the like button. So your action will boost my motivation and I really appreciate it. 
Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. I'll see you in the next question.